Okay, we are back. We are now outside White Rock. need to bathe thoroughly to get the stench off me. We have been summoned by the Greybeards, who I really don't know who they are or what they want from me. Apparently, it has something to do with me killing a dragon yesterday and absorbing some kind of power from it. Which, I'm going to be quite honest, freaks me out a little bit. So, Speak, elf. I am going to go and investigate and try to see. Need something? Um, Do you have news of our quarry? Just what it is I can come up with. Hopefully, I can either shed tough some light on what is you wrong with me, to. offer a fix for this issue. Either way, all I know is I'm heading to a place on the map over here. Iverstead. Now, there are a couple of ways I could go. I could go along here, cut through down here, or I could travel through Riverwood in that way. Which I'm probably going to do as I'm familiar with that road. A little bit more. Ever onward. Um, the last thing I want to do is go hoofing it through areas that I'm not the familiar with. Is what reminds us to draw breath. I'm a little bit. Of course, I've got my little follower now. Here she is. Hello. I've heard that the feud between the Grey Manes and the Battleborns and White. I used to be an adventurer like you, and I took an arrow in the knee. He took an arrow in the knee. What a surprise! Now, I have added a couple of mods. Hence, why there are now some torches or lanterns on roads, and why part. there are fire pits on all the bridges. Can't really get the benefit of them now, but hopefully, when I'm travelling around at night time, if I do that, should make navigation a little bit easier. Um. I've also tweaked uh, one of my mods as well um, to do with torches because obviously when I was first in Helgen and I equipped a torch it kind of disappeared on me a bit too quick smart so I've um important deliveries to make no time for chatting okay um so yeah, I'll tweak my torches so they, they, they tend to last a little bit longer now. They're not... This land's tough um, and beautiful too. They're not unlimited. They're not everlasting torches. So I will still need to craft some. And find some for when I go exploring in caves and dungeons. Don't worry, I'll play my part. I thought that was like a dead dog or something then. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to pop and see Mr. Riverwood Trader Man. Hello. Mark there. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. It's a fine day with you around. It's a fine Thank day. You, you and me, 
We're the only people around who aren't complete fools. I think I have a few old spell books laying about. If you want more, you'll have to go to the College of Winterhold. Winterhold, hey? Right, let's have a look. First of all, what can I sell you? So you both of them. Have Arvel's journal. Um, right. Have a quick look. You are supposed to have something that I need. Do a quest. Not a quest as such, but one of my mods. When is it going to be placed, do you reckon? Maybe he doesn't have it. Okay. Till next time. Fine. Hey, Fandal. Did I greetings, brother elf. Good to see a familiar face so far from home. He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince this Camilla Valerius to marry him. him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. I've been thinking. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you... Could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Good day. You know what? I will. I'll help a fellow elf out. Don't worry. You're not from around here. That makes two of us. It means so much to Huh? I came here from the Imperial Province to work with my brother, Lucan. Where am I to find Sven? Mm -hmm. Is he gonna be mean? Fane, you look like a traveler. Someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. At the Bard's College in Solitude. They train bards and skalds like myself. If you go there, talk to Viarmo. He's the headmaster. One man's <sighs> another's what is treasure. this? The elf playing a treachery? Shocking. As if I would write this dribble. How about we play a bit of a turnabout with Feindel? Here. I had to use simple words, but this letter should convince Camilla it's from him. Hear all this talk about a war? Oh. It never comes here. Until next time. I've got your back. Get out of Let's get going then. How about you broke that quest? Hmm. Let's have a look at the gym. There were several Khajiit camped outside the walls of White Moon. 
Those the elves. Where's he gone? Great quest there. We'll upset him. It's not what anything to do with me after that. Don't worry. I'll play my part. Oh dear. I guess I'm going to lose an elf friend. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. I can't seem to cash that quest in. Oh dear. My father is Alvin, the blacksmith. Okay, it seemed I had a little bit of a, a bit of a crash um, midway through my adventure, and the last auto save is here outside the river. So I've basically now gone and added a mod that makes a few more, uh, a few more saves. Start by canning some leather on the rack. And Lots hopefully, and armor need leather for straps, fittings, that kind of thing. Oh, right. I knew that. Ain't every day we get visitors. Yes, actually. How about you smith me so an iron dagger? quite a bit of progress. <laughs> Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Yes. That reminds me when I first started. There were several Khajiit camped outside the walls of White Wing. Okay. It seems they've been traveling around the whole of Skyrim peddling their wares. Whatever you need. Not bad. But it's a little dull. How about you yes. sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Cool. Good day. Use the grindstone then. Tap. Let's use the dagger. Yes, I do want to improve it. It's no easy thing to make a living in the wilds of Skyrim. Move. Oh. Iron and st this looks good. You put time into your blades. They'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Good day. Okay. What um, can I do for you? You need to move. Can I help you? Not really. Can I help you? You okay. sure look like you could use some help. I could forge you a... Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings, that kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Mm-hmm. Whatever you need, my spirit is simple and strong. Hi, tell me anything you need. <sighs> yep, yeah, make one of them. You just need something? Huh. Yeah, here's the high helmet. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Mm hmm. Are you always going to be in my way, son? The name's Yorvir. If you never listen to old uh, 
owlbore over there. He says, I'm good enough to be his assistant. Are you? Greetings, stranger. The name's Yormir, and I'm at your service. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Perhaps you need your boots shined. Or your tunic washed. Or need a... But I am desperate. It's mostly because people only offer a few septums for my services. Oh, I get it. You mean my desperation is why they offer this something? Wow, you're really wise, stranger. Can I be your apprentice? I'll cook and clean and crap. No, I don't want an apprentice. I've got Lydia. Iron, you have talent. Keep working at your craft, and you'll be a fine smith one day. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you'll remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Um, I don't really think I'm going to have to get that. Right, let's see if this woman will actually let me trade in her quest now. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. I can't. I still can't get my quest saved. Oh, that's annoying. Where's the elf? Where's Bandar? Here he is. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For a Nord village. Mm-hmm. Until mm. next time. I think that quest is broken. Okay. Ever onward. Let's travel. Where am I going? I have a stead, aren't I? I have a stead. This is life. The struggle is what reminds us to... Make sure they're set to my favourite key. Forgot to do that. Basically means that eventually I can add everything to that group there. So I, I can add that to that group. Like that. And then that lists all the items and I can go new group. So hopefully as I start getting more and more equipment, better equipment. I put those mages up in winter I can equip them a lot faster. Another good reason for coming all the way this way is I can once again I can change my stone because I've selected the beach stone. 
What are you doing, woman? Why are you doing that stupid dance? Anyway. A thief stone, yes. It was only going to help me really level up my... my sneak skill. And... My sneak skill and lock picking and stuff like that wasn't really cut out to help me level up my archery. Or anything like that. Which. Ooh. Which I suppose you can say is a, a flaw in the uh, vanilla Skyrim Ugh, I'll need to bathe game to get because archery has been set to the warrior skill tree. When really it's probably, I certainly think it should be more of a uh, um, it's a thief skill. It should be under like sneaky stuff. That's my impression. Let's you hear all this talk about a war? I hope it never comes here. Unfortunately, there is a war. As we often see when we're traveling. Storm cloaks and Imperials going at each other, hacking and killing and Everyone. wiping each other out, which just goes to show you how stupid humans are. You don't see those elves fighting like that. I mean, I'm all for you humans wiping yourselves out in Civil War, really. You know? <laughs> Once you're gone, the rest of the world is left to us elves. Trash is another's treasure. I'm still. I suppose while whilst I'm out here in the open, I ought to. I've got the right weapons equipped. Don't worry, I'll play my part. If that part means getting involved in that fight, I wouldn't do it. Again, look, here's the Imperials fighting and killing storm fights. Light snap. Real. Really cold. Ever onward. That's all we can do. We've got a long trek to go before we find the greybeards. Hear all this talk about a war? I hope it never comes here. It's no easy thing to make a living in the wilds of Skyrim. Hunter. 
I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Okay. Don't worry. I'll play my part. Hopefully a lot more saving to occur. <laughs> Although if it gets a little bit, if I if it looks like I'm getting too many saves happening, I may have to change some settings in the mod. Oh yeah. This land's May tough and unforgiving, but beautiful too. Meek the liar. Maik can travel fast across the land. Some lazy types take carriages. It is all the same to Maik. Yeah, we don't really mess with him. Well, we may be we do. Feel chilly, apparently. Goats. Ever onward. Seeing wolves. to bathe thoroughly to get this stench off me. What I want to know is who are they attacking? Don't worry. I'll play my part. They are really here, is that? <sighs> it's not going to stop me robbing him. Miss Compendium. Oh, it tells you what all the ingredients do. That's what we use for. You hear all this talk about a war? It never comes here. I wonder if the wolves ate the alchemist. This land's tough and unforgiving, but beautiful too. You think? I think wolves got him. I've 
heard those mages up in Winterhold have been trying to figure God out... God robbed the hammer! How many dragons there are in Skyrim? Okay. Okay, so this fella empty wine bottle. Hmm. It's no easy thing to make a living in the wilds of Skyrim. He didn't seem to like the Imperials much, did he? Don't worry. I'll play my part. Yeah, I got you. Trying to attack the elk. I like wolves. Oh yeah, we need to travel on with you. Uh, I never really got a chance to because you killed both of those. Uh, that's kind of why you're bringing me along, isn't it? You're supposed to protect me. I've heard those mages up in Winterhold have been trying to figure out how many dragons there are in Skyrim. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure. All I know is... There's another wolf. It's no easy thing to make a living in the wilds of Skyrim. Wolves everywhere. Oh, I thought this path would be safer. What is it with her and the singing? Seriously. Onward. 
to bathe thoroughly to get this stench off. Well, we discovered it. Is this Iverstad? Yes! What do you need? I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid. Yes? Yes, perhaps you can. There is something foul afoot, friend. Daraki can smell the stench of betrayal in the air. Your nose is not attuned to the Zeet. Daraki smells the lie. But he cannot confirm it. To some, an unconfirmed lie is the same as the truth. But Taraki is not the kind to agree to something simply on faith. Taraki talks of the steps to High Rotkar. Many travelers come to walk the pilgrimage of the 7,000 steps. Yet Taraki finds that number peculiar. Why? Do you not find it odd that the number is so round? Was the path altered to match the myth? Are the steps not all the same size? I have found it difficult to believe, based on my calculations, that there can be any more than 6,972 steps. Um, yeah, I've never really thought about Many it. Many think this way. They choose to believe something based on faith. Daraki did the same once. He will not make that mistake again. The steps must be counted one by one. It is the only way anyone can be sure. It's still a lot. It is a matter of integrity. If they are lying about the steps, who knows what else they are hiding? Lies and secrets are fine for tavern wenches, but the Greybeards are said to be paragons of virtue. If the best of us can be corrupted, then there is no hope for Daraki to ever trust anyone. Really? This is most fortuitous. Daraki had almost given up all hope. I, I'm not going to care about steps. Do not Why? rush. Take your time and return when you have an answer. Count steps. Really? Really? Welcome to the Villamir Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. Wait till I get to the... I have to wonder, what does the Dragonborn do once he's summoned by the Greybeards? Can the Thum be taught like any skin? These damn bears are driving me crazy! This has to be the worst place in Skyrim to run a mill. How am I supposed to do anything with all those bears running around? My business is falling apart, my apprentice never listens to me, and now there's talk of dragons. If I hadn't sunk every bit of gold I had into my mill, I would have picked up and left Iverstead long ago. I think you played beautifully. The Greybeards stay away from me, and I stay away from them. Suits me just fine. I suppose it's the least I can do for you. Okay, you're having a bear problem. Are you kidding? Those damn things will drive me right out of business. Tell you what. Bring me ten of their pelts from anywhere in Skyrim. I'll gladly pay you for thinning out the herd. The Greybeards stay away from me, and I stay away from them. 
suits me just... Have you ever seen what a bear does to the trees? They jump on their hind legs and scratch them to bits, marking their territory or something. It's getting to the point where I have to scour Skyrim for untouched trees at the right size. Cost me too much time and money. Okay. Now go give those stupid bears what's coming to them. No, I'll tell you, Wilhelm. If I could sweep her away from here tomorrow, I'd do it. But Klimek still has so much to learn. Klimek is doing just fine. You should follow your heart. I've heard Perhaps those mages up day, in Winterhold have been trying today. to figure out how many dragons there are in Skyrim. If I were you, the Greybeards are a solitary lot. I don't think they've ever ventured outside their monastery. We get the occasional pilgrim passing through here on you their way to the summit. But almost all of them have returned disappointed. People say there's someone in Riften that can change your face. Make you look completely different. Do you believe that? There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Look. I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? If you think there's anything you can do, be my I guest. Believe in ghosts. About a year or two ago, some fella named Windelius came through. Said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. I warned him not to go in there, just like I warned you. The very next night we heard screams from the barrow, and that was it. We never saw him again. <laughs> okay. Good story. If you pass through again, stop by for a drink. If you are uh, trying to scare me, you're doing a great job. Ugh. I'll okay. need to bathe thoroughly to get this stench off me. Uh. Can I help you? Lindley, would you mind taking care of the customer, please? You want a drink? I've always fancied a journey up the 7,000 steps to the monastery. Anything to break the boredom of living in this town. I envy you. I play the lute. If you'd like to hear something, it only costs five gold. Five gold? Why, thank you. You're very kind. Still interested? Perhaps not. Very well. What no is with Lydia and the dancing? Seriously. Okay, well, I think I'm going to stay here for the evening. Um, I'm not going to go venturing up to the Greybeards in the dark. So again, another evening here in the tavern. And if anyone knows how to stop her from doing that, please feel free to tell me. Need something? 